Hi fans and welcome to Heritage Bank Center where the Gladiators get ready to kick off a three game Midwestern road trip tonight against the Cincinnati Cyclones. Last week it was a three game set at home against the Norfolk Admirals and we had a surprise appearance from the Atlanta Braves blooper. Stay tuned. I'm the team broadcaster Mike Fulta and this is the short shift. The Glads were back on home ice last Wednesday to kick off a three-game series against the Admirals on home ice. Both teams were tied after regulation and under a minute into overtime, Cody Sylvester called game, picking the top right corner to seal the 2-1 to -one victory for Atlanta. Glads Nation showed out on Saturday night for the Gladiators' annual teddy bear toss game against Norfolk in front of a sold-out Gas South Arena. The Thrower brothers began the game with some fireworks after Josh Thrower dropped the gloves immediately after the puck drop. And just a few seconds later, his older brother, Dalton, followed up with his best Mike Tyson impersonation, sending Stephen Leonard of the Admirals down to the ice with a deadly right hook early in the bout. The Glads waited until midway through the second period to initiate the teddy bear tossing when Derek Topadich fired a wrister that Cody Sylvester directed into the net. Thousands of teddy bears rained down as blooper and the rest of the Gladiators fans had some fun with the tsunami of fluff that engulfed the entirety of the ice. The Gladiators eventually fell to the Admirals 3-2 at the end of regulation. Atlanta returned to its winning ways on Sunday afternoon. Cameron Nault continued his hot stick, netting two goals in the first period. And Sang Eun Sheen helped out with two assists on both of Nault's goals to become the first ever Korean born player to record a point in the ECHL. The Gladiators have a busy week. They take on the Cyclones tonight here in downtown Cincinnati. Then they travel across to take on the Wheeling Nailers in West Virginia on Friday night, then back across the state of Ohio to challenge the Toledo Walleye on the shores of Lake Erie on Saturday night. That's all the time we have for you here at Heritage Bank Center. We'll see you next week on another edition of The Short Shift.